Alrighty guys, so welcome to part one of the tutorial series. And in this one, we're going to talk all about how to get up and running. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go into your root folder. You can either download this as a zip package or clone it to your local machine. Um, and then you're going to go into your .env.example file. You can open that up and you'll see that we actually only need to set two keys in order to get this up and running. One of them is going to be your OpenAI API key, and that's kind of the LLM provider, uh, which we've done most of our testing with, and it's probably uh, usually the most powerful. They say that Claude is getting even better, but um, this is kind of out of the box, uh, the two API keys that you can use to get up and running. So OpenAI API key, uh, you can go into OpenAI, and I'm going to actually do that together with you. We can go into platform.openai.com and that will actually enable you to download your API key. And you can also go into another uh, service called tavili.com, app.tavili.com. And that will also give you your, uh, your web search key. So like we said, uh, there are two very, very important flows within the researcher. Number one is this entire piece is always, a lot of it is powered by LLM calls. There is this one piece over here where um, the researcher will um, break down its query into a couple of tasks and then run run some actual web search. So it's it's just like a user when you start researching something, you're going to go into Google, right, and you're going to search start searching your specific topic. And but instead of having to read those twenty to forty documents um, and kind of putting the pieces together this is supposed to automate that for you. So it's a much faster way to iterate and learn. And so the two core services over here are the web search engine, which we provide to your LLM agent. The LLM agent will be automatically generated for you, depending on your use case. You may need a finance agent, a career advice agent, right? A health agent, lawyer agent, any other academic it's going to be automatically generated for you and then it's going to we're going to give it a tool of running web search and so you'll be able to log in create an account pretty simple get the api key and you're going to take this file both for your OpenAI api key and your tavili api key and then you're going to save it in a file called env within your root and and yeah that's pre that's pretty much all you're going to need in order to get up and running um, and in, depending on how you want to run it, uh, personally, I, I believe the fastest way is uh, Docker. So if you go into the documentation, uh, you have a link to it. Uh, one sec, guys. You have a link to it from over here, and we'll put it in the video tutorial. You got your documentation. You'll open that up, and then it's up to you if you want to run uh, via the CLI or Docker Quick Start. I think Docker Quick Start is always uh, the fastest. And you can actually, you actually don't need any experience whatsoever with Docker previously. Uh, you can go into docker.com, Docker desktop. That will actually enable you to uh, run Docker on your local machine. Uh, you can, it's a kind of a, a, an intuitive, intuitive um, app for users uh, that don't want to go very deep into Docker. Uh, essentially, you can uh, download this. Uh, there is a download page somewhere here, Docker Desktop Products, guys. And yeah, that's pretty much pretty much the whole story. So we can download Docker Desktop for Mac or Windows or for Linux. And then after that, you can run one, one command, docker compose up dash dash build. That's after you clone your .env.example file and save it in another file called .env. So you can either do it either do it like that, or you could do it via the CLI. And if you want to do it via the CLI, you can also uh, see documentation within uh, with, within the, the main readme of the project, which you run the following two commands, export OpenAI API key. Make sure you do have uh, enough budget in your OpenAI account. It's uh, very, very, um, very, very affordable, just about one to seven cents uh, for each report, one cent for a simple report, up to seven cents for a multi-agent report. We'll dig into that flow a little bit later. And, and yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, please, please join us in the Discord and feel free to reach out. And that Discord link is here.